Hey folks, Mavs Dad here back with another watch review. I've got something really special for you today. This is the new Seiko Prospect Sumo 200 meter automatic diver with the new model number of SBDC033. This is basically the rebranded Sumo, the new updated Prospects version. It was actually always a Prospects model, but it wasn't branded as such. And now that uh, Seiko is selling Prospects here in the States, they went ahead and rebranded the watch. So what we'll do is we'll open it up, look at the fit and finish, the features and the functions, and then I'll give you my overall impressions of this updated Sumo. Now here it is, and this is straight from the land of the rising sun. I got this a couple days ago straight from Japan, and I'm really psyched to check it out. So let's open it up. Typical Prospects box. And of course you have, like I said, your Prospects box here. You have your uh, instruction manual written in Japanese and English. And you have your worldwide warranty with your warranty card back there. Everybody's seen this stuff before. And let's take a look at this thing. Oh, yeah, I just got it yesterday. Really fast shipping, I got it off of eBay. Just got it from Japan yesterday. Man. Now I've done a review of a Sumo before, I think it was about a year ago. And uh, again, this is just the updated version, the Prospects version. So what I'm gonna do, let me go take all these stickers off. I'll take all the stickers and tags and stuff off and then we'll get into this watch. All right, I'll be back in just a second. All right, folks, I'm back. So what I'll do on the left-hand side of the screen is I'll go ahead and put the basic specs. You're looking at a 44 millimeter case, which I'll talk more about later. It's 13 millimeters thick. You have a 20 millimeter bracelet, which I'll talk more about later as well. You also have a diver's extension on the bracelet, and I'll demonstrate that later. Uh, you do have a Hardlex crystal. I was kind of hoping for a sapphire, but uh, especially in this price range, but a Hardlex is still a great crystal. It does have a Lumabrite all over the indexes and hands. It's 200 meters water resistant, which is 660 feet. You have a screw down crown, a signed screw down crown over here at four o'clock. Uh, it has a 6R15 movement, and I'll talk more about that later as well. You do have a 50 hour power reserve on this watch. It's windable and hackable. You have a date function at three o'clock. And of course it is made in Japan. Um, I love this watch. I, I love the last one I reviewed, the black one, which was the SBDC001. This is the blue version of that watch, the updated Prospects branded. You can see it right under there. Uh, the Prospects branded uh, version of this watch. Basically this has always been a Prospects watch but now that they're selling them in America, uh, they actually brand it with the Prospects logo right underneath the uh, the hands there. Um, the blue really, really shows up well under light, but if you're not under direct light, it's more of a real dark kind of navy, almost black, uh, but it really, really looks good under direct light like this. So let's talk about the case. The case, the case and finishing is one of the finer points on this watch. If you notice, you see the bezel, the bezel is kind of sunk into the case. The case rises up to meet it. A really, really neat design feature, really classy looking. Tons of uh, really highly polished areas and brushed areas in this case. I mean, Seiko is known for their, for their finishing on their cases. Really love the case, love the bezel. I love the font of the numbers. I love the spacing. Basically, I just, I'm in love with this watch. Uh, you have applied indexes, and if you look at the indexes, You'll see a chrome bezel around each index. Of course, you, like I said, you have Lumabrite all over the indexes and hands and second hand. Uh, you have minimal writing on the uh, the face of the watch. Of course, you have the word Seiko, the Prospects logo, logo automatic, and then Divers 200 meter underneath that. And if you look right to the left of the six o'clock index, I don't know if you can see that or not. It says Japan 6R15. Uh, this is basically meant for the Japanese domestic market only. Um, and that's why you have to get them from overseas. So it's funny because a lot of Japanese companies save the best stuff that they make for the Japanese market only. That includes Japanese cars, Japanese electronics, Japanese watches. And you think it would be the opposite way around. You think they would send their best stuff out to the world. And, um, but they don't, they just, they, they keep the best stuff for themselves. An interesting business model, but obviously it works. So really cool watch. Uh, then you're going to get, this is better, better finishing that you would, than you would see on other Seiko models, uh, only because this is kind of like their mid-level diver's watch. 
When you get up into the Marine Master level, that's when you're looking at the pinnacle of Seiko dive watches. So very, very nice, nicely finished case. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, the only thing about the bracelet, uh, with a watch in this price range, the bracelet could be a little bit better. There's nothing wrong with it, um, but it could be a little nicer finished. I prefer the scissor clasp where it's not this kind of stamped metal. I prefer it where it's like that one link of um, stainless steel, that one kind of arm. Uh, so I wish they would update the case with this watch. I mean, it really is a very, very nice watch. And I mean, I'm sorry, not the case, the bracelet. I wish they would update the bracelet a little bit better. But the cool thing about this, uh, when I was trying this on, I was still trying it on with all the stickers attached to it. And it seemed like it didn't fit. So I'm looking all over the place and I'm thinking, hey, you know, I need to get, I need to get a link or maybe two links for this watch. I was about to press the button on eBay to get a link directly from Japan, from the seller. And I was like, you know what? There's got to be a way to get a couple links for this thing a lot cheaper. They were going to charge me like $35. Lo and behold, thank God for the internet. You can actually get up to three free links from Seiko USA, free links and free shipping. Now, if you order more than three, I think they're four seventy-five a link, and then shipping is like seven ninety-five or eight dollars. But you can get up to three free links from Seiko USA, and they will actually ship them to your house totally free. All you have to do is you have to have the model number ready of your watch, and then you press Option Two uh, in the phone tree. Wait for a customer service representative to answer. Give them your information. Give them your name and address and they'll send you the links, you'll get them in about a week. They're coming from New Jersey, I guess at Seiko's corporate headquarters for America. Now this is only good for the United States. Uh, if it's other parts of the world, I'm sure there's a, there's a charge for the links themselves and a shipping charge. So the number is, and I'll put this on the bottom of the screen too, it's 201-529-3316. And again, it only takes about a week and it's totally free. Now this bracelet is the exact same bracelet as the SBDC 00103 and the SBDC 003 and SBDC 033. All the same watch, just, just different branding. So that saved me like 35 bucks. So tell everybody, you know, if you have a Seiko watch, you need a couple free links. Again, you get up to three free links with free shipping directly from Seiko USA. Really, really cool. Uh, Seiko really cares about the customers. That is awesome. Now let's talk a little bit about the movement. This is again a 6R15. This movement is going to be more accurate and have a higher power reserve than the 4R36. That's why you're paying more money for the watch. You're paying for a better movement, a more accurate movement, a higher power reserve at 50 hours as opposed to 40 hours, and better finishing and overall quality of the watch. Not that really any Seiko watch uh, has bad quality. It's just, it's just nicer, you know, it's more nicely finished. Um, just a great, great looking watch. So let's go ahead and try this thing on real quick. And happily, when I took all the stickers off and I adjusted it, because you have, I think, four micro adjustments on the bracelet. Let me show you here. Yeah, there's four right there. I mean, it fits fine. It's got just enough wiggle and play to it. It's perfect. Really, really nice. Really, really good wrist presence. And man, that blue really shows up under direct sunlight. But again, if it's, you know, if you don't have direct light on it, it's going to be a really, really dark navy, dark navy color. Just a, got a great looking watch, man. All right, let's go ahead and test this famous loom. Actually, before that, let me show you the diver's extension. I'm sure everybody's seen this before, but here's your diver's extension. It gives you about... Uh, about a half an inch, maybe. Just go in here, pop it out. It un unhooks. There you go. There's your diver's extension. Take it, fold it back in, press this. You'll hear a snap. If I can do it correctly. There you go. And before I do the loom, let's look at the case back. You can see the, the new Prospects logo stamped, actually laser etched on the case back, right where my finger's pointing right there. And of course, it gives you other information about the watch. You know, 200 meter air divers. Now, everybody's wondering what air diver. Air diver means this is not a saturation dive watch. Um, that's what air divers means. Of course, 200 meter, made in Japan. The Seiko Tsunami logo 
on a screw down case back. So there you go. Um, what else? The crown, buttery smooth, buttery smooth on this thing. Nice pronounced crown pop. The spring is nice and strong and it pops that crown out. Really, really nice. Of course, windable and hackable. And again, all the indexes are applied. I'm trying to think of anything else I forgot before I show you the loom on the watch. That's really about it. Again, I wish the bracelet was just a little bit better. I mean, it, it, this watch deserves a nicer bracelet than this stamped metal. Maybe Seiko will update that down the road, who knows. She do get a Seiko, a signed Seiko clasp there. And this just watch just oozes quality of build. I mean, God, it's just really, really well built. And the bezel, let's talk about the bezel, lines up perfectly with the 12 o'clock index, which is, as if as anybody that's watched any of my videos knows, is absolutely one of my pet peeves. Very, very nice click action. It does have a minor amount of play in it. Uh, I've reviewed some Citizen and other Seiko watches that have absolutely no play. This has just a minor a bit of play, not a big deal. So you can see it right there, but there you go. All right, let's go ahead and kill the studio light. We'll test out this loom. Of course, you can see it already glowing. And this is daylight outside. Let's take the mag light, shine on it, shine on it. <laughs> let's shine the light on the watch. Let's give it about five or 10 seconds. And this loom is probably gonna light up the room. There you go. Real, real famous Seiko Luma Bright loom. And it'll, it'll, it'll glow like this for hours. Maybe not, obviously it'll, it'll diminish in brightness, but it'll, grow, it'll glow very brightly for a very long time. So there you go. All right, let's turn the light back on. And I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Um, bezel has a nice grip to it too. It's not hard to turn. It's just, really it's just kind of the right amount of effort to turn the bezel. Um, really, really nice update to the watch. Again, not that much has been changed other than the branding. Uh, that's it. I mean, the movement's the same. Everything's the same other than the Prospect's uh, branding on the watch face and on the, uh, the case back. Really, really handsome watch. I wanted something, I don't have any blue face watches, so I want to get a blue face and I was, you know, I was a little worried there was going to be too bright blue, uh, but it's really kind of a really subdued dark navy and it stands out just enough from a black face watch. I have so many watches that are black faced and I wanted something a little different. Really, really great watch. Love this thing. So if you all like this video, please click on like, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I appreciate each and every subscriber. And I'll put a little reminder of that in the lower right hand corner of the uh, screen. Uh, you're looking about, about $400 just about anywhere you go, mostly on eBay. If you try to get one through Amazon, it's going to be about another $100 because uh, literally you have to get these from Japan. Uh, there's no American seller. Even the American sellers, they import them from Japan. Uh, so it's going to be a little more expensive. It's obviously a more expensive, uh, nicer watch, better movement, better, you know, better finish. So you're really getting what you pay for. And uh, you just can't go wrong with a Seiko Sumo. I mean, it's such a, such a great looking, great looking watch. And I love this case design. Really, really cool case design. All right, folks, that's about it. If y'all got any questions, comments, please leave those in the uh, comments section. And I will try to answer those as fast as I can. I've got a lot of new stuff coming up in the next week. I've got a uh, Citizen um, Altacron Cirrus coming up. A Citizen F100. A very rare, expensive watch. And a Citizen Excalibur. Kind of a budget diver from Citizen. So those are all coming up in the next week. Look forward to those reviews. And uh, keep watching. I appreciate it. Everybody have a good one. Bye-bye.